Hi everyone, this is Mihika Basin and welcome to your English lesson. My name is Mihika Basin. I'm your English online educator. Today's topic that we're going to do is five basic conjunctions to use. All right. So conjunctions are words or uh, phrases or uh, basically connectors which connect one part of the sentence to another. They can also connect words and they also connect phrases. All right. Okay. So we are going to do five basic conjunctions today. And if you want to learn about other conjunctions, please uh, put your comments in the comment section and whatever you suggest, I'll bring that for you in my next video. All right. So today let us start with and which is going to be my first conjunction in the list. Now I'm going to type this with you and um, at the end of the session, we'll be able to finish this entire word document with good uh, amount of data on conjunctions. So an is used to connect similar ideas. All right. Or basically ideas which are matching. All right. You can note this down uh, in your notebooks. Similar ideas or matching. Now, one thing you need to understand with conjunctions is that conjunction really saves time and uh, it prevents the sentences from becoming too long because if you want to say the same thing, then why should we say it twice? All right. So I'll explain this to you with an example. For example, if I have a sentence. Mira likes tennis John likes tennis Mira likes tennis John likes tennis now do you notice something that you know seems off in this and what is the similarity between these two sentences absolutely correct the similarity is that both Mira and John like tennis now if they both like tennis why should i write it twice so to make the sentences crisp i can use the conjunction and mira and john like tennis because they both um, are doing the same thing and this is a similar idea here all right. Now, did you get the concept of and? All right. So whenever there are similar ideas, we use the conjunction and. Okay. I hope the concept is clear with and. Now let's move to but. Now where and is used for similar ideas. All right. But is used for contrasting ideas contrasting ideas or opposite ideas all right okay now let me give you an example i like tea i don't like coffee so what is the contrast here i like tea i don't like coffee yes the contrast here is that of likeness and uh of liking liking something and disliking something you like tea but you don't like coffee so why write it into two sentences when you can easily combine it like i like tea but i don't like coffee so how you see how simply we you know we fuse the sentences together here all right okay so i hope till here you can understand what conjunctions are doing the purpose of conjunctions you can very well understand them through uh 
these examples. All right. Okay. Moving to our third conjunction, or. Now, or is used whenever you're given choices. All right. Yes, we use or now you see in your daily English conversations, your mom, you know, might ask you, do you want this or that? Your teacher asks you. Uh, so this might have happened with anyone, like uh, everyone that uh, your teacher must have told you, do you want to do your homework or do you want to stand outside your class? All right. So or is something which, you know, we all uh, must have experienced at some point of our life. We have heard this. So that is why it is important to, you know, learn this conjunction and its use, especially for all those beginners in English. So I'll illustrate this with an example. Do you want tea? Do you want coffee? So now you see there is again something wrong with these two sentences. Do you want tea? Do you want co coffee? So we are again and again repeating the same thing. Do you want this or do you want that? So why not we make the sentences shorter? We make our lives easier and don't repeat this. Do you want? Do you want again and again? And simply fuse it like, do you want tea or coffee so there is a choice given here ki, do you want this or do you want that so you choose whatever you want to have so we very easily combined it using the conjunction or i hope the concept is clear did you understand it okay great so in the daily conversations also we say do you want this or that do you like pink or green so there is a choice given here between the colors. So you choose a color. Do you want this or do you want that? Okay, it's very simple to understand, all right? Okay. The fourth conjunction on my list is before slash after. Now these are two conjunctions, but um, I'll explain to you. Now before and after they are English words, but we consider them as conjunctions. Now I'll explain what is before. Now suppose... There is action A and action B. So if action B, uh, sorry, if action A takes place at 6 p.m. and action B has taken place at 7 p.m., then action A takes place before, has taken place before action B. Similarly, action B has taken place after action A. Did you get it? Now, I'll explain this to you with an example. Suppose I come, um, okay, I'll give you an example. I will have lunch before 3 p.m. So this means I will have lunch before 3 p.m. Which means that any time before 3 p.m., be it 2.50, be it 2.30, be it 1 o'clock, I will have my lunch. So I will not have it at 3.10 p.m. or 3.20 p.m. All right? Okay. And after means I will have dinner after 7 p.m. So, after here means that I will have dinner uh, at probably 7.10 or um, 7.05, 7.30, but I will not have it at 6.30 or 6.20 because that comes before 7 p.m. So, anything which takes place after the action has been done, okay, it takes place at a later stage in the future of that particular action, then the second action will be treated as after, all right? Okay, great. Now, until. Okay, until is uh, a confusing con conjunction, I would say, because some people use it wrongly or they consider it as tough. So, until means that, okay, uh, suppose you, um, suppose you're doing some work. 